from France to Portugal, Spain to Singapore, and in Daejeon, South Korea, where it has been invited to grace the opening of the World Cup. It has earned awards and accolades for artistic performances that combine dance, music, and theater in a single production. fascinating fluid movements that tell the stories of a people and a region. Its very name, Integrated Performing Arts Guild, or EPUG, explains its existence. The creation of performances that integrate dance, drama, and music expressions of the Philippine South. But only upon watching this troupe will one realize that Ipag is more than just a dance theater company. It is a classic example of that cultural product unique to areas of the southern Philippine island of Mindanao, where migrant and indigenous peoples live side by side. Where inevitably, Migrant and indigenous ways of life have come to merge, producing a culture that is as diverse as it is peculiarly Mindanaoan. One such area is Iligan, capital city of the province of Lanao del Norte in north-central Mindanao. Like the rest of Mindanao, and for that matter the Philippines, Iligan City used to be a territory of Islamicized indigenous peoples. The Spanish conquista would turn what is now Lanao del Norte into a Christian stronghold through direct military occupation and settlement by Christianized Filipinos from Luzon and the Visayas who would make Iligan their capital. Southern Lanao, or what is now called Lanao del Sur, would remain Muslim, whose capital is now the Islamic city of Marawi. In a sense, Iligan and Marawi are sisters sprung from the same seed, but now separated by two faiths. This notwithstanding, Iligan and Marawi share an institution that in many ways has helped the people of Lanao and the rest of Mindanao bridge religious and cultural divides and practice unity in diversity. This institution is the Mindanao State University, academic nurturer of the youth of Mindanao and trainer of many of its most distinguished leaders, Muslim and Christian alike. MSU is based in Marawi, the Islamic city on a hill. Not surprisingly, it has a satellite in Iligan City, situated only three hours or so to the north and in the lowland, called the MSU Iligan Institute of Technology. And while MSU Marawi has its Sining Kambayoka, showcase of Islamicized indigenous performing arts, MSU Iligan Institute of Technology has IPAG, showcase of traditional Mindanao art melded with the contemporary. For that is how its founders, director playwright, composer, musicians and musicologist Stephen P.C. Fernandez and dance researcher Ligaya Fernando Amilbangsa envisioned IPAG to be when they founded the guild in 1978. To blend the Hispanic, Islamic, native and cosmopolitan cultures of the South and produce narratives in dance, music, theater form that tell the stories of the peoples of those cultures. I make use of a lot of music in our productions. We have integrated music with, with drama, visuals, uh, literature. That's why, well, perhaps the name is, is quite appropriate, Integrated Performing Arts Guild. Uh, we sort of pick up from all the other media, mediums and put it together into one show. 
Epoch Today claims a repertoire of over 40 full-length productions, all rendered using the signature dance theater format the Guild has developed based on the Pangalai, a dance idiom from the Sulu archipelago, described to be the country's closest claim to a classical form. These are based on indigenous motifs, Maranao, Tibuli, but when we transform it into the stage, you have to somehow compose it, arrange it, structuralize it. In the Pangalai and in Ipag's productions to which it has been adopted, performers mimic the movement of the sea using hand and body motions. From off stage, performers appear to glide in space. It is this basic visual feature that beguiles spectators of every Ipag show, particularly the Guild's flagship production entitled Tales of Mindanao, a tour de force of 21 dance and music narratives drawn from Mindanao's rich lore and experiences and using both traditional and contemporary themes and compositions from the Maranao Darangen to Lucio San Pedro's Ugui Saduyan. Ginagawa namin sa sayaw, um, we, we put narrative into it. No? Part of the repertoire is hindi lang pure dance. Part of the repertoire, uh, kumukuha kami sa folklore. Ginagawa namin kwento, ginagawa, nilalagyan namin ng relevance no? sa, 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 uh, sa situation, whether it be political, economic, cultural. Tales of Mindanao is actually Ipag's international touring production that has wowed audiences in France, Spain, Portugal, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, and Singapore, where it has been featured in various folkloric festivals. In the Philippines, Tales of Mindanao and other Ipag productions, such as Datu Matu, a historical fiction and drama set during the American occupation of Mindanao and Dranao, Isang Alamat, have also garnered acclaim from critics and audiences alike. Ipag has been featured in the Cultural Center of the Philippines Encyclopedia of Philippine Art and was presented as one of the country's outstanding repertory companies in the 1992 and 1996 National Theater Festivals. Recently, Ipag performed at the Paloarte de San Diego Theater in Intramuros, where it served excerpts from Tales of Mindanao as opener of the Intramuros Evenings Performing Arts Series. This is the Intramuros Evenings Performing Arts Series. It's part of the special events of the Intramuros Administration. The Baluarte de San Diego stage, constructed in front of the ruins of one of the main ramparts of the old walled city of Manila, literally burst to life as Ipag performers presented in quick succession. The Sinolog Suite, an invocation to the gods for unity among the native Higaonon, the Muslim Maranao, and the Christian Iliganon. Love and Death at Mudas, the Siasi of today, a story by contemporary Mindanaoan writer Anthony Tan about forbidden love between a Christian soldier and a young Tausog maiden, a strict taboo in the latter's Islamic custom.
the tragic story is immediately offset with comic relief courtesy of Monkey Business, Ungguy Ungguyan, a trickster tale popular in Filipino folklore. Kalilang, a depiction of the Maranao Thanksgiving Festival featuring music and games, jousts, the dances of war, courtship, and manners. word and vocal sounds, movement and pantomime that are all done by the performers are synthesized by music provided by an ensemble of indigenous percussion and string instruments with no less than IPAG director Steve Fernandez leading the syncopation. Watching the IPAG artists perform with unselfish exuberance in the cool February evening air, one could only wish there were more people that could come to know about this guild and watch its works. It is also IPAG playwright director Fernandez's fervent wish, not only for IPAG but for other artistic troops based in the provinces as well, who are as talented and committed as their Manila counterparts and as world class. I hope uh, the communities and those who have the resources will give uh, cultural groups a chance to, you know, to expose themselves. Like, thank you very much for, for putting us on TV. Because there are a lot in the countryside, a lot of artists, and the culture is not Manila-based. You know, I mean, gusto sana sabihin. But there's much to do in the countryside, much to show also. Life always will be happy. Let one tell us how to be in the forest. Life is full of danger!